Hello, um, my name is Vicki Afanis and I am a certified peer anesthesia nurse. And what I'm gonna show you today is how to upload your documents into Learning Builder. So as a reminder, here's my learning plan. Um, this is what, I, uh, what comes up when I log into my Learning Builder. And um, to get to the activity upload section, you're gonna scroll down the page, down the page, the green bar that says continuing education. So I'm gonna go down to that section because that's where you're gonna be most of the time anyway. Um, any type of CE or continuing ed other than life support, which has its own section down here, this is where you're gonna enter it. So I'm gonna click on the add activity button because I'm gonna go ahead and add an activity. Um, I'm actually gonna add a um, continuing ed conference. So I'm gonna go up to continuing education class and select this. Um, you could also type it in as a keyword if you want um, to search or you can search down here as well. You'll find it there as well. So I'm going to click on this one and hit search. And then I'm going to choose my continuing education class. If it was a self-study, you know, you could always choose self-study. Click select. And then my activity box will pop up. And keep in mind, you want to complete all the starred sections. Those are the mandatory sections. So the title, the title was the 2018 annual oops B span state conference. And in this case, I'm going to be entering my indirect care for this. Um, this conference, I, I did get both direct and indirect care but I've already entered my direct care. So for this, I'm gonna enter my indirect care. The sponsoring organization was VSPAN. Now keep in mind, I should go back and say, um, when you are deciding whether it's direct or indirect care, and if it's not as obvious, like with a conference where they separate it out for you, um, direct care has to do with um, learning activities that have to do with patient needs versus indirect care, which has to do with uh, nurses um, needs. So if you need more clarification, of course, take a look at our recertification handbook. All right, so I'm going to come down to the completion date. It was September 29th. We'll click on that. And then the quantity. So for this conference, there was really only one hour of indirect care. So I'm going to put one. And then now I'm going to upload my document. Um, that's my certificate. So you can either, you can do one of two things. You can either choose from your library, but in this case, I actually have to upload my document. So I'm gonna do that first. So I hit the blue upload button and I go to my desktop because that's where I know I have it saved. Sorry, I have a messy desktop. Let's see here. <laughs> and I have it saved. Here it is. I try to keep my documents, you know, titled correctly. So this is vSpan 2018 and that was, um, that's my uh, already uploaded. As soon as I clicked on it, uploaded. So there it is. And now I want to submit. So I click the orange submit button. And there it is. So you see down here, it'll say um, my one contact hour for my vSpan state conference submitted with my documents. But if you notice right above, I have, I submitted prior to that, my six hours of direct care for this conference without my documents. So I'm gonna go back and put in my, um, put in my documents since I didn't have a chance to do that. Okay, so you see there's my six hours of direct care that I put in previously. So I'm gonna click on this button right here where it says edit, say okay, because I do wanna edit my item. And then down here, um, so this looks just like the screen I had before. The only difference here is I have my six contact hours that are direct care. But this time, because I've already uploaded my document, um, which is my uh, vSpan certificate, I'm gonna go to choose from my library because it now lives in my library. So let me click on choose from your library. And right here where it says vSpan, there, there it is. Select it by pressing the orange button. And now it's downloaded to this um, file. 
So I'm all done. So I click the orange submit button. And there you go. So it's all submitted with my documents, which gets me ready in case I get audited. All I, I'm, I'm in good shape. So now I'll click up, scroll up, check out my dashboard, see everything's been added, and I'm good to go. You're all set. So thank you for watching this video. Um, AdPenk has created several videos to help you navigate the recertification process, so be sure to tune in. That was great.